the iJoy Capo 21700 kit. Let's have a go. Hey guys, Femme Vicky back with another review. Today we are looking at this. This is the iJoy Capo 100 watt kit. Um, comes with the Captain Mini sub tank on top. It's a 21700 mod, but it's also a 2700 mod as well. You can fit both batteries in here, no problems. Um, we'll talk more about the batteries later. There are some things worth talking about later about those batteries. Uh, we'll get back to that. But it takes 2700 and 21700 batteries. It's a 100 watt mod from iJoy with the Captain Tank on top. Um, as you can see in the title, I am bigging this up. Uh, spoiler alert, I think this is great. And I'll get through in this video why. There are a couple of things you need to know, a couple of quirks, a couple of things, but um, apart from those, I genuinely think this is great and I will explain why as the video goes along. Let's dive down low so you can have a proper look at this, then we'll fly back top for pros and cons. I've got two cons that you need to be aware of and all the rest is some good stuff. Uh, it's vaping a bit like this. And that is at an incredibly modest 44.4 watts. Uh, let's go down low. Okay, guys, here we are down low with the Capo 100 watt kit. Uh, 21700 and 2700 kit comes with the captain. So, opening her up, here we go. Uh, just remove this sleeve and lift the box up. And uh, this is what you get uh, you get uh, your mod, tank spare coil as well uh, the spare coil is uh, 0.5 30 to 60 watt coil underneath there you get this extra box and in here you have your 21700 iJoy battery we'll talk about that a bit more when we go up top you also get a manual and a charge cable and uh, your spare parts there we go so this is the mod we'll come back to that this is the tank here we go with this tank. This is the Captain Mini. This is the 2 mil version, the UK version. Uh, if uh, you push on, let's have a look. If you push on this little arrow on top, that is where your top fill lives. Pour it into there to top fill it. And you're going to be doing that a lot with this 2 mil capacity tank because this really kicks out the clouds, this thing. Uh, beyond that, it's a very traditional sub tank, but it's a very good one. We'll talk about it more up top. But it is a very very good sub tank it has this feature here uh, so the actual coil is push fit in uh, so there we go you literally can just pull it out and put it back in and it looks like that this coil that is in here is the 0.3 40 to 80 watt uh, and I'm rocking this at 44 watts and really enjoying the vape uh, but you want that to be so firm in when you push it in and uh, just push it in like that and tighten it up but really make sure you've pushed it in really well or else uh, you could have trouble with this push fit coil style we'll talk about that a bit more up top as well but that's the that's the captain tank here is the mod this is the capo 21700 so the the way the batteries work uh, 2700 and 21700 they're both the same length so um, they both fit in exactly perfectly fine the 21 uh, 700 is slightly wider that's what the 21 stands for uh, so it is a slightly wider battery but they both fit in absolutely fine and because of this cap system you screw it down and it tightens up so the fact that it's a little bit narrower with the 2700 makes no odds so that is your 21 700 again <laughs> we'll talk about that a bit more up top um, yeah there's some interesting stats out on this battery versus the 2700 one so that's that but it goes in there uh, positive side down has a little negative symbol on the cap there and you just screw that down like that until you get to the end and uh, it's, a, it's a good fit it's a good fit no rattle no problems Spring loaded 510, uh, 25 mil tanks uh, will go on here. Uh, 24 mil tanks look best if I'm being honest, but there we go. Uh, <laughs> clicking on it and it says no atomizer, we'll sort that out in a second. But let's keep looking around it. So you've got your two amp micro USB charging, minus button, plus button. Your fire button is this big clicky thing here. Really cool, really easy to finger grab that. Uh, that works out really, really well. 
Uh, looking around, we've got this uh, symbol thing on the back. There seems to be a range of sort of stickers available to replace that if you wish. Uh, but I've got a green one that says Capo 100 on. Underneath it says Capo 100 as well, designed by iJoy. And it's sort of a really, really solid chrome finish. Uh, so there we go. So let's stick a tank on here and I'll show you the screen and the board and the navigation. Remember, if you're in America and you're looking at this video, uh, the Captain Mini in America is 3.2 mil capacity, I believe, uh, not 2 mil capacity. So that's that's uh, that's in now. Uh, it's reading the resistance. And uh, to navigate this screen, it's so simple. I love the iJoy menu system. Basically, you go one, two, three, and then you are in here. And you can set your stuff. You can go power. If you go power, you can go not. You can go user, soft, hard, normal. If you go user... You get into your power curve thing, you can adjust that, and uh, you can go around like that, changing them all up. Uh, so that's how you do that. So we're now in user, if we go one, two, three, power, back to normal, and that's how I've been rocking it. The screen has got loads going on. You've got your puff time, puff count. You can see how much I've been using it there just by that. Uh, power mode normal, we've got wattage, uh, We've got battery life, ohms, amps, all everything you need is on that screen. It's very clear, very crisp, and a perfect size. Very nice indeed. Uh, the buttons do a good job as well. Uh, so a really simple, really simple mod uh, that just works really, really well. Um, I'll show you a bit more of the nav. If we go to set, you can change your screen time to 10 seconds there. Um, obviously, if it goes off too quick for you, that's where you go to adjust that. Uh, TC, you know, it's all it's all as normal, really. You know, I don't really need to get into it. It's so intuitive. It's such an intuitive board. Let's go up top because there's, uh, there's a lot of ground I want to cover on this when we go up top. So let's do that now. Okay, guys, that was the Capo 100 Watt Mod down low. It's got TC. It's got TCR. Uh, it's got power curve ability, you can adjust your own curve, uh, you've got presets like hard and soft, it's got all that good stuff. It takes 2700 batteries and 21700 batteries. Now, it comes with a 21700 battery in the kit, which is cool because that's quite a rare battery size right now. So it's cool that it does that. Um, however... Um, these 21700s from iJoy, I think it's fairly widely acknowledged now that they're not the greatest batteries. In fact, uh, Mooch, the battery tester superstar hero guy, uh, has actually done some comparison tests of the, the iJoy 2700 versus the iJoy 21700. And I think, you know, he was, he was leaning towards the 2700 as the better battery. Now... Okay, so <laughs> they've got a bigger battery, but it's not any better. Okay, so that is that is a slight negative. However, you can just put 2700s in here and have happy days. Also, as we move down the line, there is, there is definitely going to be some really good 21700 batteries come out. Uh, and when they do, when they become widely available, you can get one of those and you can up your Ma rating in this uh, really good. So that I think I although you know the 21700 battery isn't great right now it's going to be and so uh, don't see it as too much of a negative. Uh, battery life is still decent with its, this 21700 uh, battery in as well. Also if you charge it through the USB it's quite it's quite quick it's actually quite slick and quite quick. Also it's got this top cap thing as well which is really quick uh, to charge as well. Let's just quickly go over the negatives. That that battery thing is kind of one. Um, we'll just really quickly go over those because I want to get into why I think this is uh, such a good kit. Uh, another thing is it's a 2mm tank. If you get it in the UK, it's a 2mm tank. You, you, are, you are going through juice so fast with this. This sub-tank is so efficient. It is so cloudy for the power that you require to, for it to be cloudy. It's a super cloudy tank, considering you're at such low wattage, really, comparatively to yesteryear. Um, you, you're going through juice like crazy. If I go in a, on a car ride, by the time I'm at the end of that car ride, I have to fill it up. It's really fast you're going through if you're in america and you get you've got the american version of this kit i believe the capacity of yours will be 3.2 mil which will be a big help but the uk one obviously tpd requirements it's a 2 mil capacity and you're going through juice quick you know that's that 
that's that's just the way it is. Other little things, tiny, tiny little thing. Um, I've noticed the actual cap is quite crunchy when you're screwing it in, but they all seem to be these ones with this top cap style. So again, I'm not, you know, I'm not really going to throw salt for that. Um, beyond that, I think it's great. The sub tank is superb. One thing I want to say about the sub tank, uh, again, while we're still in this little negative corner, um, this design of pushing the coil head in rather than screwing it in if you are not super careful it can leak it's not as intense a way of plugging up your tank as the screwed coil head so when you're pushing it in be double check triple check that you've got it all really neatly in there also when you first put it in you've primed it all up and stuff after 20 minutes do give it a vape don't just leave that full tank sat never vaped for ages you know because your o-rings haven't got wet it hasn't built up a seal there's no vacuum so just be aware you know i'm not sh i'm not sure i like this pushing the the coil head in rather than screwing it thing um so that's that's that push those to one side because this is a brilliant kit available in a range of colors um they've got these different motifs apparently these are somehow changeable or you can stick a new one over the top or something like that um range of colors available very nice looking it's a very nice size you know uh, i've got this to review as well this is the tesla the new tesla punk look at the size difference there uh it's a nice little dinky kit it's quite chunky very solid in the hand, but it's a really nice size for a 100 watt mod that does have very good battery life. Um, really nice button, really nicely put together, really solid feel to it, really good, charges really fast. Um, takes these 2700 batteries, takes these 21700 batteries. The performance of the sub tank is superb, absolutely superb. Flavour is tremendous on this sub tank. I, honestly, it really is. Clouds and flavour at 44 watts. At 44 watts, you can go way higher with this. You can go way, way higher in terms of wattage if you want to. But the performance is so good. I'm happy at 44 watts. It's really great sub tank. It really is easy to top fill, all that stuff. Super, so super sub tank. The mod is really good. Not detecting any problems with TCR, TC, anything like that. Uh, battery life is excellent on the mod. The screen is excellent. I've talked about this iJoy interface before. I think it's super intuitive. Three clicks and you're right into the menu and it's just up, down. You know, there's no, you don't need to do combinations of presses to get things to work. You just go one, two, three and you're in the menu. One, three, four, five and it's off. Uh, really, really simple. The best bit about this kit, 50 quid. The whole kit is 50 quid in the UK. You don't even have to go and do your fancy Chinese shopping to get this for 50 quid. It's 50 quid in the UK right now. I'll tell you what, I think it's great. And I don't often wax lyrical about these things, but I am genuinely blown away. This has instantly become my work mod. And usually my work mod is a bit of a compromise. I am loving using this at work. I think it is a brilliant device. Uh, rock solid, good battery life puts out the correct power uh, the sub tank is awesome really really great flavor and clouds F a, a reasonably faultless mod for 50 quid and i tell you what if they have the same build quality the same design with their squonker version of this that's coming out um in the next couple of weeks if it's and i haven't had a go on one yet or anything but if it's as well put together as this i think it's going to take the budget squonking game by storm i really do think it will As you can tell, I'm really impressed with this. This is getting a massive thumbs up. For me, price, build quality, vape quality, all things considered, I think this is the best kit of 2017. I'm really, I'm really sticking my neck out here. This is my, that is my genuine belief. Um, I've, I've not been so impressed with a kit this year. Uh, I think it is proper brilliant. There we go. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you had a go on one. I know they're out. I know people will be picking them up and have them right now. So let me know how you've got on with yours. Any problems, anything I've missed in this, let me know in the comments and I'll reply. Uh, like, comment and subscribe if you can. That would be tremendous. I've been Vic and I'll see you again soon.